don't look behind you. Number one. My family's homes are built very close to the Honey Island Swamp in Louisiana. There was a tribe of Choctaw Indians who settled here first, but were wiped out by diseases brought over from the French. Now there are three neighborhoods where their village once stood. My grandmother's house has always creeped me out. There have been numerous accounts of paranormal activity. When my mother was 10, she had her hand hanging off the side of her bed and something grabbed it and tried to pull her off the bed. She screamed and it let her go. When my grandfather came in to investigate, there was nothing there. All four of my aunts have seen a floating figure on the balcony at different times throughout the year. One day my grandmother was taking a nap with my infant cousin on her chest. She woke up, looked over to the clock, and saw a baby on the floor. She reached down and made sure my cousin was still on her, and he was. A transparent lady in deerskin walked in, picked up the infant, and walked out. At my house, I saw a white face in my window and thought it was my father trying to scare me. I went to tell my mother to get him to stop and she said that he was in the shower and had been for the last 10 minutes. This freaked all of us out, and my dad went out in a towel with his pistol to see if he could find anything. There were no footprints or ladder marks under my window. Years later, I had a friend staying over. In the middle of the night, she woke up screaming. She said that there was a man that touched her face and called her beloved in Choctaw. All she could see was his face and the hand that touched her, and they were both a transparent white color. We saged the entire house and didn't have any issues for almost a year. I left the sage that we used on the front porch as a kind of ward. It worked really well. We had no activity at all until my mother threw the sage away. I had some cedar boards in my room that I was lining my window seat with that were stacked on top of a storage bin. That night, they were violently thrown off and landed all around my bed, narrowly missing me. We called a priest and he came out and did some kind of blessing to get rid of everything, but it didn't work very well. A week later, I saw a black mist manifest in the hallway. I was home by myself, so I grabbed my dogs and ran outside. We are still having issues, but at this point, we're just learning to live with them. My mom hates how the sage smells and won't let me do it again, even though that is what worked the best. Number two. When I was a kid, we lived with my grandparents for a while, and they had this house that had been in the family for like 120 years. It had been updated and so on, but it was always built to look the same. Now, the main hallway linked up to the living room, and if you sat in the big blue chair in the living room, you were the only one with a view of the hallway, and this was my favorite spot to sit, because the chair was huge and comfy, and it smelled like my grandpa. And I could also see my friends from it. What friends? Oh, the shadows that walked up and down the hallway. I'd sit in the chair for hours while my great-grandparents babysat me and my little brother, and I'd just talk to and watch my friends go up and down the hallway. They'd wave, and even though they were just a solid shadow, I swore I could see them smiling and talking to me. They looked like they were walking into a bedroom, 
but then one day I noticed that they could never actually pass the door's thresholds. Their body would just slowly fade away as they passed into the next room. I could never see them anywhere else in the house except that hallway. I don't remember what really happened to freak me out, but my mom said that one day I started insisting that they were being mean because they get mad at me for not coming into the hallway or rooms with them. I'd flat out refuse to step in that hallway even when I couldn't see them. God damn, I never saw those creepy fuckers anywhere but that house. Number three. I had an uncle who, when I was very young, died in the Vietnam War. My family is very in tune with this kind of shit, trust me. But for about a month, every night, someone in my family got an eerie feeling and they wanted to go and sleep in my parents' room. They were all teens and even one adult did it. I don't know why, but whenever they were on their way down the stairs, they would hear walking around down below. And then when they went into my mom and dad's bedroom, they could hear whispering from nobody. Usually, they could get to sleep though, but around 3 a.m. every night, someone extra slept in their bed. All three of them would wake up and see my uncle, who had been dead for five years, hovering over the dresser. My parents are very religious people, so they thought about it like he was a guardian angel but it has given me the creeps ever since. I saw him once walking down the halls when my door was open just a crack. It still gives me the creeps to think about. Number four. When I was about 10 or so, I lived in a house that my family had been renting from some other family. One time, the living room TV would make the sound of turning on every night for about a week, and apparently I was the only person who would hear this. At the time, I was sharing a room with my brother that used to be the original living room and was right next to the kitchen, and there was no door separating the two rooms. I would get up and go towards the living room, seeing the light that is there when a TV is usually on, but there was no sound of a show or anything. When I actually slept really close to the living room, the light would just go away, not even a sound of the TV turning off. I looked around for somebody in the living room every time, but no one was ever there. My entire family was still sound asleep. I remember mostly being more mad than scared because I just really wanted to see what was so damn interesting on the TV that the ghosts kept watching late at night. And yes, I do believe in ghosts. Number five. I was around 13 visiting my aunt and uncle's house over the summer. They have a huge house on a lake. I was sleeping in a good-sized room with two twin-sized beds and a desk in a corner. I pull out my phone and do whatever a 13-year-old does on their phone while visiting family. When I finished reading whatever it was I was reading, I put my phone down on the table in between the two beds. I turned around, staring at the wall, and tried to go to sleep. After a minute, I shifted positions, and when I looked up in the corner above the second bed, I saw this blue light. It was confusing, and I was a little scared, but I thought there must be a good explanation, so I looked around for what could be causing it. When I looked toward the computer, I saw another blue light in the corner above my desk, and then I froze. It was a person, a blue, transparent ghost, 
crouching down in the corner with its face looking downward. I could not see much details, but it was definitely a person. The computer was black, and there was no lights on anywhere in the room. All the windows were shut, and after a minute of staring at my eyelids, I mustered up the courage to bolt out and out of the room. I told my mom I saw two blue lights in the room, and when I went back to show them, they were both gone. The computer had been also shut off, and it was my uncle's work computer, and he didn't want anybody using it, and only the other electronics in the room were my iPhone and a lamp on the nightstand. To this day, I have no idea what it was, and I don't want to know. It scared the shit out of me.